What's up guys, Ross here from Yossi Vapor Pudzi. Um, today we are going to teach you guys how to build. Alright, so uh, today guys we are going to build the IGO W. Um, let me show you a little bit uh, about the IGO W. The IGO W is a uh, three post. Um, you'll see that there's holes in the, the post and that's where we are going to uh, slip the wires through as we start building. Um, this is your cap. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put it on the, uh, the hammer. This is our mechanical mod. Um, this is actually available for pre-order right now. Um, you could check out our website, yosivapes.com, um, for the pre-orders. But enough of that, we are now going to start building the uh, IGO W. So to start off, um, we're going to need to open up those holes. We're going to unscrew these right here. If you could zoom in real quick, you'll see that these holes open up. Cool. Alright, now we are going to, um, to, to create um, a build, what you're going to need to do is uh, you're going to have to grab yourself some silica and some eco wool. Um, today we're going to be using the uh, silica. Um, eco wool is a, just a different type of um, wicking material. Um, these come in a 3 mil, a 2 mil, and I believe a 1 mil uh, millimeter diameter. Um, eco uh, silica comes in uh, 1, 2, and 3 millimeter, uh, millimeter as well. Uh, but today we are going to toss this out and we are going to use silica. Um, you're also going to need some uh, cantal wire, um, 28 gauge. Uh, they come in different uh, gauges as well. Uh, 26, 28, uh, 30, and 32. Um, the lower the number, the thicker your wire is. Um, 28 is usually a good, um, it'll give you a, a pretty good resistance uh, throughout the, at the end of the build. Um, so this is, we're gonna need about, I'm gonna pull some of this out. We're gonna need about, I tend to use a little more than uh, a foot. I like working with more uh, wire than uh, usual because it's always better to have more wire than too little and end up short. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the ends off, make sure those are nice and straight. Okay so now um, what I'm gonna do with this is we're gonna be building a dual coil. Um, we're going to start off by folding the uh, silica. So I like to um, fold it twice. So essentially you're wrapping around um, four loops, I mean four, four wicks, four strands of wick and you're going to have uh, two loops right there. Um, keep in mind that the more loops you do, um, the more strands you'll end up um, having that squeeze together the um, higher your resistance is going to be right. so I'm just going to pinch that just nice and press there now we're going to grab our 28 gauge wire um, so with wire the thicker the wire the less resistance you have um, you don't want to go too low on the resistance because um, the lower the resistance the hotter the coil gets and um, it's just if your battery is not able to handle the resistance on it um, it could heat up and um, cause some problems so um, yeah we're gonna go ahead and wrap our, our uh, wick so this is our wick I usually start up top and wrap around So as I'm wrapping, I'm not uh, trying to choke the wick. I'm just kind of letting it kind of, I guess you could say, um, I just wanted to make contact with the wick, but not, you know, 
choke it to where uh, juice won't be able to flow through. Um, so this is going to be your first coil. Um, the more wraps you do on the coil, uh, the higher your resistance is going to be. With mechanicals, you want to stay at a lower resistance because um, you're firing the voltage off of the battery. So uh, to compensate for the lower voltage on the, the battery, uh, you want to do uh, less, less resistance. You want to go with the less, uh, lower resistant build. So that's going to be, I'm going to do uh, three wraps. So this is a three wrap. So you have three on one side and then three on the bottom side. All right, so now I'm going to cut a little bit of this off. And what I like to do is um, the top wire I use as my positive and the bottom wire I use as my negative. On my IGOW, um, you have one positive and two negative posts. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip the top wire onto the, uh, the positive and the bottom wire on the negative. So negative goes on the negative, positive goes on the positive. So, Alright, slip that through. I kind of leave it on the outside base there because we're going to be slipping our other uh, wire through and you kind of want to be able to see it going through the other other side. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I leave a little bit off of there. We're going to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and fold this twice. All right, pinch them together. I'm going to grab a little more wire. Cut that off. All right. And again, start on the top and start our wrap. So while wrapping, you kind of want to have um, the spacing as mirrored as possible to your other coil. Um, having it too close or having it too wide changes the uh, resistance of the, the build. Um, it, it, the, way you, the way you could think about it would be um, the less wire you use at the end of the build um, will give you a lower resistance. So more wraps equals higher resistance, um, less wraps obviously lower resistance. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it. The closer they are, um, the lower your resistance gets, the farther apart they are the higher your resistance gets. All right, so again, on the other side, uh, top wire positive, bottom wire negative. So, oh, down fire. So we're gonna slip that through, make sure this is locked. Don't wanna burn myself. Make sure you lock this. <laughs> Safety tip number one. <laughs> make sure you lock your mechanical. All right, so. It's locked, all right. Positive in the top wire and the positive. Bottom wire in the negative. And you could zoom in. I go under the coil and on the other side as well, I go under the coil. So you kinda, you should see the other wire peep through there. So if you can see, um, my bottom leads are under the, uh, the leads are under this coil and my leads are on the other. That way it's just, a, in my opinion, it's just a lot easier to work that way. So now we're gonna grab some tweezers. We're gonna grab these wires, pull them through. Pull and push. So I'm pulling the leads and pushing at the same time. And then on the other side, um, go ahead and do the same thing. Pull and push. All 
right? You want to try to get those coils as close as you can to the post. The farther away they are from the post, the higher your resistance gets as well. So you want to make sure that that's a little closer to the post. All right, so once that's done, just go ahead and I like to push or pinch and screw it down. Now you don't want to um, screw this down all the way through because you end up cutting the wire. So once you feel a little pressure, you can go ahead and stop. So make sure you squeeze all of those. All right. Cool. And now with these leads, I tend to, I, I usually pull up and out. That way it helps lock it in. And you want to stay away from the base because uh, if these wires are touching the base, you'll see uh, like a little, it, it'll start heating up this coil or this wire here. So up and out, away from the coil in the base. Same with here, with this, up and out. All right, and we are gonna test fire. So make sure you turn on your device, test fire real quick. All right, so when test firing, you wanna just pulse it first. Um, make sure, because you don't wanna end up um, having these just to make sure that you don't have any of these uh, leads touching the base and you just test give it a quick pulse all right so now we just want to make sure that that's all lighting up and if it's all not lighting up all you want to do is what I tend to do is I straighten this out and straighten this out all right test fire again make sure the leads aren't touching the base it's not lighting up what you want to do if you have one side harder than the other it's only because that actual um, coil is closer to the post than it is with the uh, to the other one so if that's a little hotter just go and pull this back a little bit all right and then um, with coils with the with the dual coil builds uh, you want to try to mirror them as much as you can so whatever you do on one side you want to make sure you do on the other side as well all right so now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test fire this um, when you test fire you want to pulse it first just to make sure you don't have any um, shorts or hot spots or anything all right so pulse make sure everything's lighting up um, so what you want to start looking out for would be um, coils that aren't firing so for example um, this side is firing a little hotter or this side is firing a little hotter than this side is um, pulling back on the actual coil will even out the uh, resistance on there that way you get an even even flow all right so now you just want to make sure that the spacing is all um, identical on the other side just make sure they're spaced out evenly make sure that this is going as well right. this side doesn't look like to be firing and I want to pull this out a little bit tighten it sometimes the contacts the wire doesn't make enough contact to the screw. Alright, test it again. There we go. Alright, so. So, all you want to see pretty much is both coils lighting up, all the wires lighting up, and that's about it. That looks good. Go ahead and pull back. Alright. There you go. That's your dual coil. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna space these out a little bit. Alright, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these off with our 
trusty cutters, wire cutters. Um, you could use nail clippers. I just like to use these because they're a lot easier to get under the coil with. So I cut that off. Cut this off. Cut that. And cut that. All right, so now what we're gonna do with these this extra strand here, I like to go around and tuck under the coil. Make sure you lock your device again. So around and under this coil. That way you have a little bit of silica to spell on. A little bit of silica to catch your overdrip, um, and that way you have a well as well. Alright, so go under, go under. Alright, with this, let's go and cut this off. Check this under. This off. And just so that you're able to put on the cap easier, I tend to cut this off right here. That way, cutting this also makes sure that you have juice flow through the coil. Alright, clean it up. Let's fire it one last time. Make sure it's firing. Make sure that's good. There you go. All right. Oh. Cut a little bit of this off. And there is your dual coil. Nice even glow. Perfect. All right. There you go. Now all we have to do, juice. Load it up with juice. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you saturate everything before you start vaping this. So once your wick starts to kind of look all clear and jelly looking, then you should be good. Once it starts turning white, that's when you know you're going to need to re-drip. That just means your wick is getting dry. Alright, test fire again. There we go. Oh, fireworks. Alright, so now, um, with these caps, uh, the stock air holes are really, really small. Um, you're going to want to drill these out. The bigger you go on the air hole, the more vapor you'll end up producing um, because you're getting more airflow inside the, uh, you're aerating the coil a lot more that way. Um, so what we're going to do real quick is we're going to drill this out and then uh, come back. Okay, so I, go, uh, I went ahead and drilled out the uh, air hole on this. This is a um, 330, no, 764 air hole. Um, like I said, the airier you are, you're able to get on the draw, the more vapor you'll be able to produce. Um, so, yeah. Um, every time you pull out this cap, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna um, line it or have it face the, uh, the coil. That way you're aerating the coil as much as possible. 
we're gonna go and put this cap on right there. And now we are gonna vape it. Alright. Put this on here. Make sure it's not locked. There we go. Hear it? And now vape. Alright. Uh, it's vaping nice um, this build you could get like a good um, 10 15 drags off of it and then um, yeah that's about it all right guys so um, that was the tutorial on how to build the uh, three post IGO W um, if you like this video have any questions like comment subscribe and uh, till next time um, Ross from Yossi vapes have a good day